Hey everyone, good to see you again. Glad you stopped by to check this video out. Uh, it's gonna be a real short one. Um, not really a lesson or a tutorial, but just something I thought of just just today, uh, as far as some information to give to you if you're if you're just starting out learning the guitar and learning other um, accessories that go with the guitar. Um, you know, I remember when I started out it was just a guitar and then you start hearing these terms and what they are what they mean do i need them for the guitar so i just figured i'd kind of just you know talk about one thing that i um can't even remember when i found out about it but it was a, a capo um c-a-p-o um and uh, you might have heard it before you might have an idea what it is but it's a capo was these one little tiny things this that goes on the neck of the guitar and what the capo does is that it actually shortens i guess the way i would describe it is and maybe i'm wrong and someone can can tell me otherwise happy to hear what they have to say it just takes you know the the length of the string that you have right now and it shortens it and when you shorten it you're actually changing the pitch you can still play the same chord shapes up and down the neck in different positions but with the capo um it changes the pitch and it changes the key um really straightforward type of thing though it's really good for just strumming chords not really used when you're playing bar chords as a matter of fact when you want to eliminate bar chords especially when you kind of get into the, to the you know like the f b flat e flat stuff you'll, you'll see a lot of folks using these so that that way they can play um an open e type of chord an open e flat or an open b flat i'll show you um you know real quickly up and down the neck um how it sounds and what it all means um but they're really just just this one little thing here usually you can get them on a the spring or they they come um you know spring activated basically with a handle and you kind of just you know clamp it right down onto the onto the neck and i'll show you how i do it on this one um this one ranges about 20 bucks uh so it's definitely more on the higher end roughly right around there um it's probably the most i would ever spend for a capo just just for my purposes they they're even more money than that so that that's you know th this is good enough for me um you know then you got the, the lower end ones I, I bought this one years ago um haven't used it in years uh, but instead of having a spring you're kind of just wrapping it around the guitar neck and then you're going to tighten it basically so a little more clumsy in terms of uh you know when you compare it to something like this where you can just kind of slide it right on you know this you kind of kind of wrap it around and, and, and lock it in place and pull the lever i guess um so when when you want to do something on the fly this is definitely the way to go but there's nothing wrong with this at all um matter of fact i just had it on here before i, I started this video still works well still works great so uh but just for my purposes i probably will never use it again just because i have these other ones and then uh this one's kind of more middle of the road this one here again similar this this one's just a different design um actually have another one on the acoustic and i'll show you you know what that is too but these two just kind of bought it as a pair i think it was on amazon i don't know eight bucks maybe seven bucks um didn't really need them but i bought them just to have some because i mean if they're like guitar picks just you drop them and you put them down you never find them again so um i figured i'd get a couple more to just keep on hand and again this was the the one a little bit more a little more expensive i think it's the, the keyser or the kaiser however you want to pronounce that um that's it right there so take a look that's it right there mm -hmm. right there um so I mean that's really and that's really what they look like basically all different types all different shapes, um, but let me play you know using one of these. So without the capo and we'll, I'm going to keep this really simple. I'm going to play the same three or four chords over and over so you can hear the difference. But if I wanted to play something just using these basic chords G, C, and D, okay, you know what that sounds like. But if you wanted to play in a different key, but still wanted to use those shapes, that's what you can use this for. So if I wanted to put this, say, on the third string and play those same shapes, I'm playing the same shapes, but just it's a different key now. So if I don't have it on here, if I'm playing this, the G, open G, you know that one. When I move it here, I'm playing the G shape, the actual chord I'm now playing is a B flat. Right? So you can see how you move it up and down the neck. Just playing that G shape. Right? We'll get that on there, right? Okay. So you can kind of see how it just helps change the sound. So most players, I mean, again, they range up and down the neck. For the most part, you'll see folks using them on the third second and first fret sometimes on the fourth as well but if we just start on just say we just go for the third 
Okay? I'm going to just play the three chords. G, D, C. Okay? Same chord shape, same progression. I'm going to move this now one fret up. Uh, and I'm going to change the key completely now. So instead of B flat, this is going to be in the key of A. All right. And if I move it up one more to the first fret, again, same chord shapes I'm playing. So, um, as far as types of songs you might know, I mean, off the top of my head, you know, in this position here, I did a video not too long ago for uh, Soul Shine by Warren Haynes. So, I mean, using the capo in this position would be that key. similar shapes there um if i move it here some of the songs you might know in this shape and again i actually just did a video not too long ago for wagon wheel the key of a but instead of playing you know a this way and these chords right bar chords i'll just put this here the same shapes and if we go up one more uh, I think everyone knows this one too um, Matchbox 20 uh, 3 a.m. okay so again I was playing the same shapes basically up and down the neck here in these three different positions but when you use this and you move it around you're completely changing the key um, you know, a good example of, of a song where using it and not using it, but, but the same key, though, if you listen to Thunder Road um, by Springsteen, it's the key of F. So on the album, I'm pretty sure even when you see him live, you're playing the bar chords. So again, it's... it's you don't want to have to play those bar cards, bar chords, if you don't want to. So if I take this and I put it here, now instead of playing that big F bar chord, I got a, I got a, an F right there. So when you see him playing maybe solo acoustic, there's a very good chance that capo is probably right in this position. If not, it might be another one here or there, but it's going to be right around there. So that way it's easier to play, right? chords that that same key and everything but it's just a lot easier when you can do open chords so that is a capo that's what it can do um if you don't have one certainly suggest you get one again amazon a music store or wherever you got to go to get these um they range anywhere from maybe three or four or five bucks and you can go 20 and above 30 and above um depending on your need uh you know anything in that $20 or, or less range is, is right up my alley. It works well. Um, I've never had one fail on me, honestly. Um, I lose them, but that's why I buy a bunch of them. And, and then when the new ones come in the mail, I find the old ones laying around right where I left them last. But always good to have. Keep them in the gig bags. Keep them handy. Keep them in your, your practice space. Um, you know, they, they come in real handy, especially when you're playing, you know, with, with, with the guys or the band or whatever you're doing. And, uh, you know, they throw something out there and you can just kind of, you know, throw that on there real quick. You know, All right, so um, hopefully this helped you out. Real simple type of lesson, tutorial, info, session. Again, capos, take a look at that. Um, real straightforward stuff. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, again, as far as brands, I, I don't know what brand might be better than others. Um, it's been a lot of trial and error. And, uh, you know, as, as long as it doesn't fail on me, the spring doesn't break, it, it's good in my book. So uh, like, subscribe. 
questions, reach out to me. Be safe out there, and we'll see you down the road, okay?